Pussy Chessa. <laughs> pussy Chessa. Pussy Chessa. Chessa dish. Chessa pusha. Chessa pussy pizza. Chessa pusha dish. Pussy pizza, pizza pie, <laughs> pussy pipi. Pussy the pussy liando. Pussy pipi pupu. Pussalo. Like Puss. buffalo. Pussalo. 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 Pussalo sauce. I can't wait to get some poots. <laughs> some I can't wait to go out tonight and get some poots. <laughs> poots in, poots Poot. in, Greek is, er, in Greek is dick. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I meant, baby. <laughs> I want some fucking poots. I can't wait to get some poots Adele. <laughs> when I'm in Athens, I always have the poots. I always have the fresh poots. Yeah, I'll have the poots. Well, we're back. Back to the the three bust The three tears. bust amigos. Bust the tears. Ooh, that's good. Um, I'm D'Artagnan, though. Mm-hmm. Then you, yeah. the fresh blood. I'm L'Artagnan. L apostrophe Artagnan. <laughs> become, Artagnan. I haven't read the Three Musketeers in a, a long time, but I remember that's what happens is that D'Artagnan and L'Artagnan become friends at alternative school. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. Teaching us that yeah. they're not so different. After we must all. have the same father. <laughs> <laughs> we both Artagnans. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's yep. mm-hmm. L'Artagnan's a light skinned guy. Yeah. Yep. L- L- light, light Artagnan <laughs> and dark Artagnan. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. We, we got the same father. Um, and then they, the third one is. Uh, aren't there four of them actually? There's three. There's, there's three, three and then there's the new the guy. guy, the yeah. young boy with the nice hard who can still get hard. It yeah. should be called the Four Musketeers. So really. it's Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello. Uh, good afternoon. You reached the desk of Donatello. <laughs> I'm the principal here at Three Musketeers Alternative <laughs> Vocational Elementary School. <laughs> <laughs> So that's one of the characters. Ooh, that's a good one. Voca- mm. At a vocational Donatello. elementary school. Yeah. We need to talk to you about Latanya's performance. Oh, he's not my son. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant D'Artagnan. No, he's not my son either. My son's Jamal. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be honest with you. We don't really have files at this school. <laughs> We let the kids do all the organization yeah. for us. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. We, we this isn't this isn't really like a file type of school. <laughs> <laughs> a vocational elementary school is, is a sweatshop, basically. Yeah, right, yeah. just making um, <laughs> we got we got the kids making basketballs. <laughs> we got a contract with the NBA. <laughs> we produce all their basketballs for free in exchange. They send us a computer. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <clears throat> Who's that guy who was in Three Musketeers? I think it was a fat guy. I think his first name is Oliver. Oliver Pratt. Platt? Platt. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yep. He was in that Round movie? nose, maybe? The one with... Which one? I don't know. I just remember him being a fat musketeer. Yeah. He's a famous character actor. He mm-hmm. plays characters. Uh-huh. I never understood that term. Every uh, actor plays a, a character. Yeah. I still don't. Yeah. No, I mean, they never play a star. They play, like, a supporting role that's, like, a... Yeah, a character actor is somebody is ugly. That's, that's got a lot of rage. It's somebody that's actually good at acting. Good at an actual actor. But nobody would watch for two hours, you know. Yeah, your Buscemi's, your, uh... Yeah, okay, you know, I get it. After, after being a successful <laughs> character actor and, and d- working very hard for 25 years, they let you do one movie where you play, like... The world's gayest and ugliest man. Yeah. A true story. <laughs> the gayest, ugliest faggot that ever lived. Yeah. And, and you're like, this is my chance at that wow. Oscar. They've yeah. already they've already made yeah. Adam. Yeah. William H. Macy gets to play biopic. a guy in a, in a wheelchair. My story is not over. William H. Macy plays a guy in a wheelchair <laughs> that's powered by sucking dick. Yeah. And mm-hmm. <laughs> it's funny you said William H. Macy. Does he live in New York? I feel like he was on my train. I mean, I would not be surprised. It is his New York. wife's in jail. It is New York City. But yeah, but he looked, but he he looked kind of like a bootleg version of William H Macy. But I feel like that's what all that's probably what they all look like in real life. He's wearing monarchs and like fucked up khakis. Oh, that's probably not him. It's probably not him, right? Yeah, yeah. He was Jack though. That's probably not him. (laughs) (laughs) He looked a lot same mustache, same face. I thought I saw I thought I saw Garrett Dillahunt on the street, but they had a ponytail. They had like uh, pigtails. Ooh, nice. And I was like, does he have to have pigtails for some weird movie? And I looked it up, and it doesn't. It was just a man that looked like Garrett Dillon Hunt. Who is that? It's a character actor, Adam. I don't know him. Fuck. I should know more characters. You should know. We're on an entertainment industry podcast. You should know who these guys are. It's a show business podcast. Variety actually has sponsored us. Adam Adam was bragging about his Letterboxd account. What's Letterboxd? 
It's a website it's, Adam brags about. No, it's just, something I just joined. And I told Nick to join it, and he said he's excited to join it. And Adam was. I bragging. did see that actually. Yeah. Exposed. You, um, so you were excited to join it. In you that just you no. write down the movie. <laughs> I just want to remember what movies I've seen. Wait, is it just a, a little place to review movies? Adam, you know what? Yeah, you, should you don't get. even have to review them. Adam, you, you should get a little. I just want to chronologically like remember which. Wait, you get a little scrapbook that you can put your stickers in. That's true. Yeah, I like, like that. Your, it is yeah. like it is. I like collecting them all. All your collectible stickers. You yeah, can put it in the book. <laughs> That's what that commercial. We don't let any of the boys sniff the stickers. No, you can't scratch. These aren't scratch and sniffs. Yeah, they're I my special boys. Sniff. My my special sports guys. I remember I, uh, girls would get mad at me when I was a little kid because I was always trying to smell their stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're like, can I smell that? <laughs> <laughs> like their panties? Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, first the sticker books. And you work your way up. You normalize sniffing. Dude, and I used to. Their armpits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then their pussies I legitimately, and I legitimately used to ask other kids if I could smell their fruit by the foot wrapper. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Like, can I smell it? That's the most Jesus broke Christ. shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I, just want the, I just want the essence, I don't know. man. I mean, it, they, these rappers did smell nice. <laughs> <laughs> they had a little bit of fruit by the foot. They did. Listen, they did. Essence. And good for you for asking for what you wanted. Yeah. I mean, I would smell one right now if I saw one. Mm-hmm. I'm, into, I'm getting into colognes and different Just types. rubbing of fruit by the foot wrappers on your neck. Yeah. <laughs> being sweaty. Just have, being, being the most damp. Indian man in the world. <laughs> Respect, bro. Yeah. I never, I was never a smell anything guy. I wanted to eat that fruit by the foot. You better believe I was asking to eat that shit. Uh-huh. I would just be the guy who would propose. I would eat crazy paper. trades. You know what I mean? Like with I had no business. Yeah, getting yeah. you tried to just trade for things. Them. I tried to in my school. You could just put down stuff no one wanted on a table, and uh, I would just pick up a bunch uh-huh. of milks and be like, "I'll trade you four milks." For like a, a cupcake And be like no be like, That's no. where the bartering yep. Happened Dude mm-hmm. there's a lot But every once in a while You get lucky You just come to school With table. like a dead beaver <laughs> <laughs> Like what can I get for this <laughs> <laughs> I'm just out I'm with a BB gun Ma'am Fucking uh, off Orioles outside <laughs> Ma'am Would you mind If I <laughs> fucked your pussy <laughs> right. Did you let your son Play Red Dead Redemption <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> This, I'll be honest with you. This isn't really a discipline type of school. Nah, we don't have what you might call classrooms here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is one room. It's kind of and we open make it concept. license plates. Yeah. <laughs> an open yeah. concept. Different is, workstations uh, where they learn different skills. Yeah, you're describing a factory. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I, I was told this was a Montessori school. And it's like, well, he left. I mean, he worked here for a while. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't look up his files. Uh, he has yeah. some. Let's just say troubling history with children Montessori yeah. did. He was making everybody give him pedicures. <laughs> <laughs> He's making all the children give him manicures and pedicures. That's Monty for you. <laughs> That's good old Monty. Oh, Monty. Making seven-year-olds polish up his cuticles. <laughs> just like a 70s pimp getting his yeah. nails filed by, just not even by children. Mm-hmm. Trying to fuck them. Hey, baby. <laughs> Now, be careful with that hand. That's the one I drive the Cadillac with. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fuck up them nails. <laughs> Monty, sorry. <laughs> um, my, I had an art teacher in middle school that was a total, like, old school, like, Mac, like, 70s black guy. Just get gracefully aging. Uh-huh. Who wear, like, beautiful silk shirts. Black was a good crack. artist. Yeah. Very old, but like good skin, obviously. Uh huh. Going bald, but again, gracefully so. Yeah. And uh, his name was Daly, Mr. Daly. You know what his literally what his first name was? What? Weekly. No, it's a good guess though. New York. Mac. Mac Daly. His name was Mac Daly. Hell yeah. <laughs> that fucking that feels fake, dude. Mm. That's a that feels like a by. dolomite, like a guy in, who's friends with dolomite. I'm yeah. your pusher, man. <laughs> <laughs> He rules. I hope he's still alive. I hope he's not. Come on, man. Why do you want to kill my friend no, Max it's Daly? Dark to say such things. <laughs> yeah, that is fucked up. You are a sick. You are a sick fucked up guy. Twisted. Yeah, Nick, you're a sick puppy. Shut mm-hmm. up. An <coughs> you're one sick a misfit, puppy. A misfit broken toy. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> the broken oh, toys. Broken fucking toys, man. <laughs> broken. <laughs> just trying to get put back together again mm-hmm. with laughter. 
<clears throat> um, yeah, dude. Yeah, they, I went to. Uh, so I apologize for being out, everyone. I uh, got surprise surgery on my shit. I went to. I'm start. The, I'm Still back. Still no tooth though. But I'm you're back building on the path. I'm on the path to a tooth again, finally, where um, I had to get a bone graft in. And this time, last time I went to, I got my very bad dental work at a strip mall in Rosedale, Maryland, an ab- a mostly abandoned strip mall next to a uh, Subway sandwiches. Uh-huh. And that didn't go well. But this time, a much nicer building in Rosedale, Maryland. Oh, yeah. so same so, city. <laughs> same, same horrible suburb of well, that's between the dental- Baltimore City and Baltimore County. Yeah, yes. yeah. Well, in Baltimore County. That's but. the dental capital of the Eastern Seaboard. <laughs> that's right, Rosedale, Maryland. I did used to play in Rosedale League soccer. So that's it- where the stars go to get their teeth done. That's right. It means a lot to me, honestly. To Rosedale has a special place. Give in my Rosedale heart. a second chance. Having I to get surgery sucks. It was it was brutal. That dude. sucks ass. And I thought I was just going for a consultation. Do they put you under anesthesia? No, or? bro. I thought I was going for a consultation, and they're like, "All right, well, we'll just get started here." And I was like, uh, "Okay." And this bitch just fucking needles me up. I'm getting numb. She just starts sawing into my fucking jaw. It was brutal, dude. So what? And they just put a piece of bone in yeah, there? Yeah, I got a dead man's bone in my jaw. Dead man's bone. Oh, how does, how does a bone graft work? They just put a piece of bone in there? Basically, they put a piece of bone in that motherfucker, and then they have like a weird mesh. Yeah. And then your your body just starts, I guess it just fuses mm-hmm. or whatever. Wow, yeah. incredible. I hope this man, I hope it's haunted by a pussy-eating fiend, because it's right at the top of my tooth. It's a mouth bone of his? Oh, that's a good question. I hope I don't have a cock bone in here. That would be fucking yeah, gay, you, dude. Yeah, you definitely have a <laughs> p- pelvic bone. <laughs> I better not have a man's cock bone. Or, hold on, could be a woman's pussy bone. That would be pretty that sick. that would be hot. You know how pussies are made out of bones? <laughs> yeah, the inside. Everyone knows how, how the inside of pussies are so bony. <laughs> yeah, when you get in there, Yeah, dude? bitch had a bony-ass pussy. When you get in there, <laughs> that shit feels like sternum. Yeah, I want that good. They just is breaking news. They they got him, dude. They proved collusion. Nice. They Why? Because of Barr. Um, because Nancy Pelosi said that um he's bad. Oh shit! Oh, so that proves it. <laughs> yeah, that's. I thought was... Pelosi said Trump was good. Tune in. We have definitive evidence here uh, today on the Mad Hour. Report. I gotta say, the smoking gun. This is what we've been waiting for. What do they get? Donald. I have an envelope here that says Donald Trump is bad. <laughs> I have his tax. Re- Remember that bitch released like she one said, sheet of his tax returns from, yeah, from 2014, and shit? it was de- most definitely planted by the Trump administration. It was, and she built that shit the fuck. Yeah, up. yeah she's like later we're gonna tonight. read it. We're gonna it look like at it. Looking inside Capone's grave or yes, something. Yes, yes. And then, and then what it said was that he paid like thirty percent of his income. <coughs> oh, did it? Yeah, he That's paid. He paid like a, the normal amount that everyone else did does. It was like a pretty normal fucking tax. Yeah. they probably leaked the literally. But he filled only it out in Russia. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. And she's stupid. <laughs> she's a lesbian. <laughs> Damn. And that's why she's dumb. Whoa, got her ass. The fuck, who keeps calling my ass? Is it Cookie Monster, your no. friend? Hello, Cookie. Ravro. It's good to see you again <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> Uh, oh, I also my happy, Peter, happy to report to everyone. Yes, I had to go to court yesterday, but I hired a lawyer to appear for me. Uh huh. Beat the first charge. Beat driving with the suspended, with the cell phone. Oh, suspended license. Suspended uh, something. What about texting and driving? Have it. That one's still. That's that still open that case. Open case. You don't want to talk. You can't, I can't comment. Talk, I can't comment on, on an ongoing. You investigation. can't comment. <laughs> yeah. Classic. <laughs> classic fail. Uh, Classic fuck up is to comment on open I will active never, investigation. I will never comment on an open investigation. Yeah. The feds can't get me. I'm too it is, smart. It is funny in retrospect, just like how shitty the police department was with that Jesse Smollett thing. They're like, this is a serious investigation and we're investigating everything. We're pretty sure he lied and he's gay and we have pictures <laughs> of him. <laughs> By the way, he is gay and he's, probably a liar. He's a gay liar and we are treating him like a victim. <laughs> Yeah, that story's great. Yeah. It's kind of like all these shitty people, like, you know, put themselves in an involuntary... Oh, it's perfect for you. It's like you dreamed it up. Oh, yeah. It's everyone you hate all mm-hmm. at once. Mm-hmm. It's like... <laughs> yeah, liars. <laughs> yeah. Right. It makes... it makes Chicago PD looks Chicago bad. It makes PD. the police department look fucking stupid, and it's also Gay like... Gay actors look dumb. The DA's office, which, like, I guess it's good if they're, you know, if, I mean, at least... They're not prosecuting... First, first-time offenders. 
Well, if the DA's office is like, well, now are they because there was another woman that got arrested for like falsifying a police report, just some like poor black woman, mm. and the judge was like, asked the district attorney like, why didn't you throw this case out? And they're like, wait, you just had the Jesse Smollett thing, and the DA's like, ah, oh, that's good. Yeah, well, maybe Jesse because she's hero, not dude. famous, right? Yeah, no, it's because literally could be a civil rights hero now. Uh, he gets he gets poor people that falsify police reports off. Yeah, you know. But I mean, prosecutors are bad chess. no matter uh-huh. what. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, you know what? I never realized he got a salad at Subway. Wow. He didn't even get a sandwich. What? What a psychopath. I'm gay. That is the worst part of that story. I wish I knew that detail of the story earlier. I would have been like guilty. Yeah. He's getting a middle of the night because salad. Because here's the thing. That's just the lettuce and shit from well, the it's thing. It's a bad lettuce. He'll be tossing a different kind of salad. <laughs> oh. He was, th- he was thinking of all of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was hoping we'd all know he about wanted, that. Yeah. He wanted He's to He's a good guy, it turns out. Everything I'm hearing about him now, in hindsight. Yeah. Do they have... Do they have other bags of lettuce? Do they have spring like a spring mix at Subway? I don't think so. They just have spinach, and then they have like kind of a white iceberg, like a brownie white. I cannot stand Subway sandwiches. Iceberg lettuce. Iceberg lettuce is trash. Lettuce can in general unless can suck it's my in dick. a like you're at a steakhouse and you have a wedge salad with the bacon and Even then the blue then trees dressing. I would dressing. rather have spinach. I, spinach I, is I like so a good wedge salad. It is a superior leaf in every way. Yeah. Or maybe like a little soft bib lettuce or some <coughs> shit. I want Iceberg my shit is green. Just water. Exactly. There's no nutritional yeah. value. And it doesn't. You know why it's called that, right? What? Because it's Titanic. No, because it was. Uh, it's like the cheapest type of lettuce to produce, and it has no like real value to so it. It's ice. Well, there was a guy named Iceberg, who Iceberg. was like, "What if we can save even more <laughs> money yeah. if we just sell them the a Jewish least, guy named Iceberg. the least yeah. nutritious <laughs> type of lettuce?" I should have seen that one coming. It's just grass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. respect. It, we, we kept getting we'll cut charge, up with ice. We'll charge Mordechai this, Iceberg. We'll charge the same amount <laughs> as the romaine lettuce. <laughs> Fuck romaine too, by the way. Romaine's I'm just not good on, too. I'm out on also, lettuce. it was like, uh, it didn't it? Wasn't it poison? We'll charge the same while. amount as arugula. Now we're talking. <laughs> Arugula's good. And it's there's nothing there. It's just water, basically. <laughs> not too much water, mind you. <laughs> just enough mm-hmm. so we can cut corners on the lettuce. That's right. That's right, Mordechai. Yeah. It's so funny that like part Isaac of like Iceberg. Israeli propaganda is to oh, say that Isaac? they. They develop drip irrigation, but it's like that is literally Nick's joke about like n- not too much water. David. Wait, what, what's that? I they the... they develop drip irrigation in Israel. Hell yeah! And they're like, oh, you think Israel's bad? Well, we develop drip irrigation and, and uh, instant messenger. You know, these are like, but I like drip good. irrigation is literally the 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 kiki way of <laughs> yeah, irrigating. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Don't it's just a little drop. Do it one drop. Not too at much time. water. <laughs> I am though. That's that's Israel. What's that? Instant Messenger. Is yeah, there? respect. I see. Q. It was just called. started off as a way to initially be like Israel's so stupid. Yeah, and then you know they have this other stuff that they did, and now he's he's already tricked you. <laughs> Damn. And the wow. you see his I'm ways. I'm not doing wow. it. You see his ways. Whoa, that was fucked up, Adam. No, and then now he says, I you know, ways too is actually an Israeli company. <laughs> ways is yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. We talked about that. They're inevitable because Google bought them. Yeah, but I I, won't, BDS, I refuse to use it. it. Yeah, because it's BDS. That's so right, I use the Rand shitty McNally. Apple Maps. Yes, and I use Rand McNally. Then no one uses. Mm-hmm. I like Netanyahu now. now that Why? He's, now that he's a bad boy. Oh, hell yeah, dude. He's, <laughs> he's, like he's always been a bad boy. Mask <laughs> off. <laughs> mask off. <laughs> I just want right. to kill Muslims. It's <laughs> so true. Doesn't his son post like Nazi shit or something? Yeah, ear. Yeah, and he got in trouble... For, uh, His name's talk- Ear. Yair. Yair. And he got in trouble for... Yair! Uh, yeah, you for what you doing over there? Uh, for disclosing a corruption <laughs> scandal while he was drunk at a strip club with his boys. He's like, yo, me and my dad are doing fucking corruption. That's and like awesome. people overheard him at a strip club. That guy rocked. And they <laughs> opened an investigation. Yair, keep your mouth shut, boy. Yeah, he posts like pictures of George Soros like looking like with an evil kike. And and, yeah, 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 like hook nose and stuff. And so He's a pepe. How, what's going on there that some of those guys are just saying, like, you, like they're doing Nazi shit? I don't get that at all. What? Why are, is, why are Israelis being Nazis? What are you talking about? It, the, the Yair. Why are guys like Yair doing Pepe shit? Uh, I don't know, because they think, like, 
They have Trump. similar goals. Yeah. They want to create it's a white, ethno white ethno state. Yeah. Interesting. So they think that what the Nazis did were good was good. Are we going to get to the point in like 10 years where they're just like I don't chill think, with Nazis? I don't know if the, that's what they would be doing. But yeah, I mean, they are <laughs> chill with like, what's his, like Netanyahu takes pictures with like Victor Orban and like, like what? Like that's the guy that came up with the popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah. The popcorn. Victor Orban, Orban Bach, uh, yeah. Wallenbacher. <coughs> well, damn, that popcorn is I mean, good. yeah, they, they are, like, it is aligned with white nationalism at this some, point. I had some Paul Newman popcorn last night. Is it good? It's okay. Is it healthy? No. But all the mm. money goes to charity, so. Does uh, it? While That's I'm sitting true. here eating popcorn for, you know, dinner. <laughs> yeah. Damn, you're right. I'm about to buy start buying all I'm, Newman shit. I'm saving pandas or whatever. Retarded kids, I I'm guess. Teaching retarded kids how to drive stock cars, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, we were talking he about stock cars kids and he loves racing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Racing retards. <laughs> the se- the sequel to Reading Rainbow yeah. is Racing Retards. It would be it, it would be nice to put them in pod racers. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. We could invent pod racers. Yes, and, we could. And put retarded people. We could, in them. man. We could put them in on the moon. We can. Re- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all you know they crash and blow up all mm-hmm. the time. Well, hey, man. And but they're only going like fifteen miles per hour. <laughs> They're still getting into fiery. <laughs> I think they could handle it. I think yeah. they could do anything. Actually. How you doing? My name's Saboba. That is cool. How you doing? They would have to have Star Wars hey. names. Yeah, hey, it's me, Saboba. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. So, yeah, I got a fucking bone in my shit. I'm so- I was just bleeding on the train. I had to put a fucking tea bag in my... Just start chewing a tea bag. On the way here? Yes. Damn, playing hurt. Playing hurt. Still, dude. still being a professional. That's right. It hurts to laugh, but I'm here. Damn, it hurts to laugh. It hurts to smile, dude. How cruel. How cruel. I love smiling. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I love I'm having scowling. a good time. It hurts too much. <laughs> but <coughs> it's like Planned Parenthood. It sounds like a place where like twins <coughs> set up their mom and dad on a date. Oh, like the parent trap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like a. Pl- how about it's a. A Parent Trap reboot where the twins are like, there's this place called Planned Parenthood, <laughs> and we can go there, and then they go, and the doctors rape them. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, uh, well, well, I don't I'm know. Trying to th- no, hold on. I'm workshopping a surprise yeah, yeah, twister. Yeah. Okay. Let's workshop. I would throw that one out, but it, no idea is a bad idea. In Maybe oh, they're right. doing like a late-term abortion. Yeah, that's where they Maybe they, they abort them by accident? They f- yeah, they f- get abortions. They do extra late-term abortions, and they mm-hmm. kill they them kill at 11. They kill like an 11-year-old. <laughs> yeah. Super late. Yeah. Or maybe one of them is pregnant, and they right. get the health care they need. Um... How about the parent trap? <coughs> and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's like the twins try and trick the dad into going on a date with the mom. Okay. But, like, the police are monitoring all of their computers for some reason. Okay. And the dad shows up on a date with the mom, and he's like, uh, why don't you have a suit over here? And he's like, what? I'm here to meet a 35-year-old woman. And they're like, actually, you were cybering yep. with your 11-year-old daughter. <laughs> 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 we have all the logs here. I sure. love that. We can figure out the reason later, but I love that. Yeah. That <laughs> is a trap. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is your daughter. This is your actually your 10-year-old Lindsay Lohan daughter saying, I can't wait to suck your... Just I want to suck the bottom. Oh, they get really, like, graphic. About yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. She's, she's like, Kayla, I don't know if you should girl. be doing this. Like, don't you want to trap them? <laughs> this is the this is the kind of adult stuff <laughs> that adults do. We'll tell them we'll press charges unless they fuck each other. Yeah. <laughs> it takes two. You're two something. I don't know. I like that. I love that idea. Mm-hmm. I like you it, Cyber too. with each other's parent. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The daughter's trying to see your mom's pussy and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love yeah, it because yeah. they know each other's tendencies. Uh huh. So this is great. How about the batch of predator and the pedophile shows up and then a bunch of guys hold him down and come on his face <laughs> and then they let him go. Is that is that what like a, is that a different word for bukkake? Is batching? No, a bat. You know, like a load. Like a oh, batch. Okay. Oh, so you're just I didn't a know batch to, of load. I didn't know if batching was like. No, it can be. That's nice. I Look, like it. We're cultural icons. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's get be that sh- started. Sh- <laughs> They're going to be saying batching in Japan in three months. Batsaru. Yeah. Batsaringaru. That's starting up. I love batching. Yeah. You and your boys all, th- all f- not just one load, a batch. Yeah. 
You know, the Amer- it's about mm-hmm. time Americans mm-hmm. had their own bukkake, and why that's batching. A, why are you doing this to me? Because, okay, you have two options. Either the entire crew comes on your face on national TV, <laughs> or you're arrested by the sheriff's department. <laughs> Just the cameraman with it, no bottoms and socks on, yeah. <laughs> just beating off on top of him. Yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite part of watching those bukkakis. Just like some guys with socks, some guys fully nude. That would be t-shirts and no that, bottoms. That would be a fun way to reboot to catch a predator. Is the pedophile shows up, and then they can either pay off a child student loan debt. That's great. You know, a or, survivor of sexual assault. Yeah, and then yeah. they get to go free. Yep. And the, it's the network that decides, not the oh, district not attorney's <laughs> office. We we do it in Chicago, where activist mm. DA Kim Fox would That's have right. no problem with such a, <laughs> a stunt as yeah, this. Uh-huh. <laughs> stunt. She loves stunts, and the reason it's a she's show. the evil Knievel of. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> of prosecuting. How is she going to follow up gay act, gay black liar Jesse yeah, Smollett yeah. with <laughs> to batch a predator? Now that story, that story is fun to follow because, like, afterwards she was like, "I welcome an investigation." She was like, "We had like uh, uh, every part of this was run by our chief ethics officer, who like immediately resigned after." Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, respect. Yeah, and. Uh, She's like, I welcome an investigation, and then they like are trying to appoint a special prosecutor to look into it. And she's like, We will not support the idea. Of this <laughs> <laughs> hey man, a uh, special counsel looking into. So that. Is, is that just what politics is from now on? Is just like, uh, we we got a special counsel. We're gonna have to open a special counsel investigation into literally everything and everyone. Is that gonna be it from here? I mean, on that out? happened during Clinton. That happens a lot. I, I guess it happens. Just maybe. no one gave a fuck, right? Wasn't Benghazi a special counsel? No, that no, was, that that was, was a hearing. It was a select oh. committee or whatever. Yeah. Ah, who gives a fuck? I don't know. I mean, Congress investigates it. I mean, that's what Congress Isn't does. That what 9/11 Congress was? is like a fancy version there of like an commission. HR department at a fucking office where they'll be like form little birthday party planning that's commissions. Right. That episode yeah. of the office. And then yeah, they love like excommunicating each other. They're like, oh, this is the we're not talking to Sarah committee, mm-hmm. you know. And then they just <laughs> spread gossip among each other. I mean, yeah. to be in Congress is is pretty fucking lame. To be I yeah. Agree. Uh, Unless you're getting pussy on the we're side, we're too cool to do it, right? Or dick. Well, a lot of people don't know this, but I've been having sex with Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. What? Nick has been. I, yeah, are we, you serious? Yes, he doesn't we, want to make a big deal. Well, I don't want to make a big deal about it, but we've been having sex. What the fuck? I'm in her <laughs> district. I should get to have sex. With her. Yeah, well, but that she I'm said a that's a com- that's a conflict of interest because she sh- she wants your sense. vote. That right. makes sense. So she can't. She realized but she wanted to. Right. As a female politician, Adam. she can't fuck guys for votes. But she yeah. wanted to though. No, she said she didn't want to, but it, to tell you that oh, you're a constituent, Wait, so it would be inappropriate. Because she was fucking Nick, and then she came over here. She was wearing like, like a T-shirt of yours or something, yeah. eating a bowl of cereal. Yeah. And, and you were just hanging out with her. Did you get to fuck her? I fucked it. Well, I previously fucked oh, her. Fucked yeah, her I fucked her a couple of years. Well, that's ago. actually crazy yeah. because when I, I was in on Baltimore, Tinder. Before, I met her on Tinder before she was on uh, when, she, when we were when she was in Boston. I did a gig. Yeah, when Baltimore, I was 19, Boston, the bees. When I was nineteen, I did a gig. I had in sex Austin. with her when she was four years old. <laughs> <laughs> I were fucked you alive? her. <laughs> I guess you. Were. I fucked She's her as a baby. Yeah, I'm older than she is. So you were. Six. We're all older than she is. You were six. Yeah. When you fucked her. How fucking sad is that? They were older. I love, it. I love young. We're men. all men older. Are see? Men are trash. Than the woman I had sex. How old with. is she? Twenty eight. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I don't know. I love the way young women are ruling the world because men are trash, actually. So, but I did fuck her yeah. actually as soon as she got legal. So I legally fucked her the second it was legal to fuck her. So I just yeah. want to put that on the record. It's, I don't understand like what you're supposed to do because like, I feel like like I'm really on the cusp now. Another two or three years, I'm just gonna have I'm not. There's gonna be no relevancy. I'll have no understanding of how the world works, who's in it, yep. what people are watching. Mm-hmm. How to navigate my life in any way? It's yep. just like mitigating various pains in my body, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's like what? Like you just have to live another forty years yeah, that's like that. Horrible, just not understanding. You anything. just don't know shit. Like I, I, I was like, like I saw the other day that that Avengers Endgame movie made like a billion, a something. billion dollars, like the movie. highest grossing movie of all time, and it's like, wh- what are the Avengers? Like I don't know. I didn't see any of those movies. Nah, those are some. That's some good shit, man. Well, I don't know. I mean, to be that's, that out of touch, <laughs> that's that. But that's like just stupid 
super like I watch them on planes. Accessible. Yeah, but you should. I mean, if it's it's almost like being like, what's the Super Bowl? Right, yeah, right, right. You know, I just like I have the no s- idea. The yeah, corpse ball. Yeah, you're gonna have to be connected to society. I guess I'm I'm the most uh, mainstream out of all of us. I I guess as an Avengers fan, as a Thor fan. I see all those movies. No, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't, bitch. You want yeah, to do? Don't. You want to do a quiz on it? Yeah, I do. Did you, you saw the new one? I did. I haven't seen it yet, bitch. That's me. I'm up one. I saw the beach bum Have with you Matthew seen McConaughey. Thor Dark and said, Planet. Thor Dark Where Planet. Where they fight the elves, bitch. No, I saw see? Ragnarok. Yeah, that's everyone's seen that. One. That's the good one. See the first one? Yeah, with Natalie Portman. Okay, what about? But you didn't see the second one. What's the second one? Thor no, Dark I guess I didn't Planet, see the second bitch. one. Yeah, that was directed by like yeah, Kenneth Branagh. We got a, Branagh or we got a dork ass planet. Who the fuck is Ken? <laughs> He's like a one of the preeminent Shakespearean actors of our day. Really? I'm pretty sure he directed the first Thor. The first one was like Shakespearean, like Anthony Hopkins is his dad. Anthony Hopkins was in it, yeah. With the who, eye who doth bust in my ass? <laughs> <laughs> Just wearing a skull on your dick. <laughs> to bust or not to bust. My dick, she quivers. To pee or not to pee. To suck or to be sucked. That is the question. Sickly though. Whether I am gay or in my mouth or in my ass. With the pale cast of busting. (laughs) Uh, I've never seen a Shakespeare play, I don't think. Yeah, Kenneth Branagh directed Thor 1. I've read Shakespeare, but I've never seen Oh, you knew it. You've never seen a Shakespeare play? I think yeah. King Lear is on right now in New York. I know some old bitch is playing King Lear. An old woman. Ling, how about yeah. Ling Queer? And it's they're getting uh, a they're a letting Chinese. a bitch play that? <laughs> Hold on. I'm Nick's so fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. How is me Ling Queer? <laughs> I'm, oh, ga- yeah. I'm gay. I'm <laughs> gay. <laughs> yes, that is correct. <laughs> yeah. And then Ding. This is Romeo and Juliet are like, who's this gay Chinese guy <laughs> ruining our date? <laughs> it's me, Lin Queer. Oh, they're in Lin Queer, uh, Romeo yeah, and Juliet. Yeah, all well, the, all, all the, the Shakespeare, Shakespeare plays are mat like same, oh, same cinematic universe. universe. Yeah, all the uh, theatrical. Yeah, the, they're universe. the Avengers. It's Romeo, yeah. Juliet, fucking Shylock, uh-huh. uh, Iago, uh, uh, Othello, Iago the parrot. Yeah, Iago the parrot. Iago the parrot. Uh, Jafar, <laughs> Jafar's in there. Uh, Rafiki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, who else is in Shakespeare? I remember the Othello, they called detective. Othello an uncircumcised dog. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck, bro? Because he's a black Some man. white guys are also uncircumcised. I've never seen Bob Hoskins play Iago in some some sort of like television version of, of uh, Othello? Othello, I think. He's very good. Bob Hoskins ruled. Yeah. I want to see The Long Good Friday or whatever the fuck. Oh, you haven't seen it? It's I tried sick. to get it on Amazon, but it's not fucking available. Oh, uh, that movie is fucking awesome. It was on Filmstruck. Is Filmstruck still going no. on? No. Well, thank you then, Adam. That's it was helpful. on Filmstruck. But you, you know go any to, other places I can't get it? You go to, uh, Maybe a Criterion show. Go to uh, Barnes & Noble after this and pick up a copy. Uh, physical media? Yeah, physical media. Helen Mirren looking like a dime in that movie, too. Do you too. see her tits? I don't know if you see her tits. No. Well, no. then I'm not picking up a physical copy. If her titties were in it, then yes, I would. Why? Just to have and to cherish. Yeah. In case the internet goes out and I have to beat off to something, then I own a DVD with Helen Mirren's titties on it. Yeah. I, guess, I suppose I could download pictures of her titties to the hard drive. Perhaps print them out, paste them upon my wall. Mm. Some, some stuff to think about. Mm-hmm. I love the idea that people used to beat off the calendars. That, that feels nice to me. Every like mechanic shop. Yeah, think, just looking at the calendar on the 29th of the month. Like I can't wait put, to jack off in two days. <laughs> they just that put a, new picture. They just put them up on the on the wall. You I don't, they don't they think they ever beat off to them. No, not in the shop. You get you get grease in your dick hole. That probably feels good. Just yeah, to, it's against OSHA. You just have your cum, Just dude. Bruce Springsteen with an album cover with his pants <laughs> around his ankles. <laughs> looking over his shoulder with a bunch of motor oil around his anus. <laughs> 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 I was born to be bad. I'm a bad guy. <laughs> a bad boy. Bend me over. And take me out to the Jersey Shore and bend me over. 
the fuck is that? Bruce's latest uh, experimental <laughs> album is. <laughs> Just bend me over the 57 Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking, and fuck me while, while we listen to the Mets game. And we have a couple of hot dogs. <laughs> like, watch the fireworks go. And then, you know, <laughs> fuck my ass. <laughs> 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 Grease gree- my ass. Grease my ass. Up. <laughs> In the Macy's Day Parade <laughs> <laughs> Just to be an American bad boy <laughs> it is uh, American bad boy by yeah, Bruce Springsteen Everybody knows must be roundly booed Every Death time it comes 88. on <laughs> And he opened the door to the back I seat I can't believe this gay shit <laughs> Bruce is making me listen to he said get in who remembers Weber Grills? <laughs> <laughs> Take that Come little on. brush yeah. you used to clean off the grill and put it in my <laughs> ass. Does anyone <laughs> like... Uh, the fuck? <laughs> Who remembers when the subways took tokens? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Blew my ass up and fucking... <laughs> Uh, having gay sex in Americana. <laughs> Americana gay sex. <laughs> Thousands are protesting outside of Bruce Springsteen's yeah. concert at the Meadowlands. Well, I work in a factory and I am gay. <laughs> <laughs> and I Boo! can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. You <laughs> sit like a leather daddy outfit with assless chest. <laughs> And I can't wait to have gay sex. <laughs> the boss, you're killing us. <laughs> you're killing us, Bruce. I spent $150 on these tickets. <laughs> and all the unions have been broken up by some Pickerton folks that want to fuck our ass. Oh, that's what s- they do? I said, get in here, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess he's like a union guy that likes having gay sex. <laughs> Anyways, he's the greatest musician of uh, mm-hmm. the last 60 years. Ba-da-dun-dun-dun. I will say, I do fuck with the boss. Me too. Yeah. It's weird that a guy that's so pro-labor would call himself the boss. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. Uh-huh. Do you think that was a self-appointed nickname or everyone gave it to him? I, I, hope, he it. I hope he gave it to himself. <laughs> no, dude. Guys, I want you to start calling me. Guys, yeah. would you mind calling me the boss? <laughs> Sil- Silvio's like, I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Tone. I don't know. Tone. No disrespect? <laughs> yeah, he was doing that character <laughs> yeah. for 40 years. He was like, I prefer to call Sylvia? you Skip. Yeah. <clears throat> you know he was supposed to play Tony Soprano? Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. Just getting absolutely... I mean, that would... It would have been one of the worst shows of all time. (laughs) I know. That really worked out. It would have gone from being the best show of all time to easily one of the worst shows (laughs) anyone I don't know. Just him sitting in therapy? No, it would be cartoonish. If if fucking Making that weird scowl with his face. Yeah, the whole time, like... Mm. That Robert De Niro impression. I think I'm depressed. I think I'm uh, experiencing depression. (laughs) (laughs) Who would be... You wouldn't be able to take that seriously. He was in Did some Edie, other. Edie Falco delivering like an amazing performance as the wife of that man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think uh, I think I'm gonna go out and see the boys. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's been in other shit though. Is he a good actor? He was in some Little Stevie. He was in something called, I believe, Lily Hammer. Oh yeah, it was like a TV show, right? On Netflix. I never saw it. The only reason I know that is because I was listening to a Fresh Air. Where they interviewed him about it years ago. Ooh, you know your boy loves. I'm back gross. in on fresh air, so I feel like I need to start using my brain a little bit, and I feel like that's the just listening to Terry have a conversation with instead someone? of basketball podcasts. Yes, I, w- I, I mean basketball podcasts. You learn about things. I want yeah, someone to just do <coughs> an hour of Black Fraser every day. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, that would be good. You woke up. Yeah. yeah. What was it? Black. Yeah. My husband uh, doesn't really seem to pay attention to me when I tell stories. Bitch, you gotta step the game up. <laughs> your stories is trash. <laughs> your pussy is trash. <laughs> Bitch, I smell your pussy from over here. Wash that shit out. Yeah, everybody can smell your damn pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you, bitch. 
just playing with you. I'll listen to your stories, baby girl. What you look like? Yeah. What's Email a picture. Describe the nipples send, to me. To Fraser Daddy at yahoomail.org. Yeah. Why don't you? Yeah, let me come over later. Let me come over. Maybe we need to do some one on one for therapy. Yeah, maybe I'll do a little physical therapy. <laughs> Just every woman that calls me <laughs> tries to fuck. He figures <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> For their hysteria. <laughs> That's the <a> relationship. <laughs> he thoughtfully listens to every man's problems. Yeah. <laughs> we just bought a house, and my husband seems to just be assuming that he can turn the basement into a man cave <laughs> because of what he's seen on television. How do I explain to him that I want to put, like, a washer and dryer down there? <laughs> And I don't want the whole thing to be living room. Bitch, you need to put a wash and dry on that pussy. <laughs> you need to wash and dry that wash pussy. Wash and dry that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, get that shit so dry. Have yeah. that thing. Toot it nah, up. Secondary. Tastes that. like water. Let me fuck you. Let me fuck your butt cheeks. <laughs> Let me slap your butt cheeks together. <laughs> and slide up in between. <laughs> Nut all over your back. <laughs> uh, thanks <laughs> Okay um, I love that The hot dog and the bun that You've mentioned that You got a butt job The first time your dick ever came out Is that true? I got a butt job before I had sex It is a nice move But it feels like a waste It does well, feel like do a waste a couple str- It's the same way I look at titty fucking Thank you Honestly butt, job, butt jobs are a lot more practical It's ceremonial more practical. It's not about a butt job is more practical. Than it's a, not about practicality, man. It's about enjoying yourself, about doing some weird shit that makes your dick hard. That's all sex is. All sex is to me is using a pussy like a hand <laughs> so that I can nut as quickly as possible. <laughs> my uh, my fiance says that all sex is to him is using his p- a pussy like a hand, <laughs> bitch. I got a hand right here. <laughs> it's got something to say to that face. <laughs> Starts with S, ends with lap. You come up, you come up on my show asking me these bitch ass questions. I'm gonna slap the shit out you. Send you a address. I'm gonna have the producer come on and give give you your address to him. You give. I'm gonna slap. Mail up. in. Mail us some of your used panties. Yeah. Why don't you send your tampons <laughs> into the show? And I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get my shit hard sniffing. <laughs> <coughs> oh fuck! Yeah, Black Fraser, <laughs> Black Fraser, yeah, tear my, tear my Roz is booth. just signaling the like hand signals from the booth. We've been off the air. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the, the FCC took us off the air twenty five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Your Beach brother's here, man. Done. Fraser, I got some bad rock again, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what was it? Yeah. He's gay. Just, oh, yeah. I just, I pop fucked up, man. I got bad rock. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that everyone, nice. Roz and the dad are the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything's the, the dog. same. Everything's the same except those two, except the two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, instead of... Because those people would never interact with <laughs> yeah. black people like well, that. Well, first of all, they wouldn't live in Seattle. Right, right, right. Just me- that gay British guy who has a food show. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get fucked by them, honestly, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She fetishizes them in a uh, racist way. I hate that. You hate, hate fetishization? Fetishizing. I've never had a fetish. <laughs> I've never fetishized anything. What would you do to a guy that maybe spent his 20s fetishizing men or women of certain races or ethnicities in general? Spent their 20s doing it? Yeah. Well, you know, as long as they figure it out by their thirties, <laughs> as long as they end up with a nice yeah, European I want to do like gay. I want to do gay 30s. conversion therapy, but instead of like making people not be gay, it's it's making huge. people be vanilla. Mm. It's just gay. like losing their fetishes. How about That'd a gay nice. conversion camp, and then the Christian people will send their kids there? But really, all it is is you just. Let gay kids drive around in conversion vans. Oh, that's cool. cool. And then they come back like, how was gay conversion camp? And it's like, it was so good. And they're like, <laughs> well, you're still gay? And they're like, yeah, you just drive vans around. <laughs> yeah, but we'd learn mechanic skills. We just learn how, how to, how to work fun. on the van. And that to, way, yeah. their fathers can accept them. Yeah, when they kick them out of the house, they have to live in a van. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes. Either their father accepts them for being slightly less gay and knowing how to use a right. van, or now they're ready to go with their mobile yeah. home. Well, it's called a conversion van because I've been living in it since my parents kicked me out. <laughs> 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 Damn. Yeah. And if listen, if you're a gay teen runaway and you need a place to stay, 
Adam Friedland Ooh, will take you in. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a leader in the community <laughs> yeah. of runaway boys. What's up with that Bon Jovi song? I'm like a Fagan. <laughs> that Bon oh, Jovi song about the right. runaway? Are you talking about wanting to have sex with an eight-year-old girl? Is that, Is that a real thing? I think so. She's a little runaway. I can't wait All to have sex with her. Animal. And she's eight, by the way, she's eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still dun, laughing. Dun, 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 just dun, imagine dun, the cover dun, 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 of that Bruce Springsteen album. And he's yeah. <laughs> ass completely with a bandana hanging out of his <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Greased up. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> grease the grease is yeah. like dripping down he's the inside like, of his leg. He's like, this is how mechanics stand, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's I just, right. I just want to get my picture taken like a tough guy mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, the damn boss. You guys see that fucking Sonic trailer? Yeah. Did you talk no, about I it? didn't watch it. But yeah, people are saying that he, it, he looks bad. I don't know. I just don't understand why they even made that movie. I know. It's really weird. I mean, the anime, the, the thing that people are complaining about, I don't get. It's like, yeah, it's a weird hit. Like, how, how the fuck is it supposed to look? I don't yeah. understand what they did wrong. But... Like a son, like Sega went out of business like right. 15 yeah. years ago. So are they gonna make? Sh- are they, they gonna like try to bring a, a game, game back? Every five years. Well, they no, they keep making the games, but it's like it's not like there's not even like a really a nostalgic element to Sonic. I mean, it's like the it's, rings. It's still dude. kind of like culturally pervasive. Like I mean, you see Sonic shit all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's not like anyone's like remember Sonic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You are know? they still making Sonic games? Yeah, they, yeah, they make new yeah. ones. Yeah, I mean, they make mobile games and shit. Uh huh. They made a weird new. They always make. They've been making some weird new game versions yeah. of shit. Uh-huh. But Sonic's the same thing with like, you know, Super Mario Brothers. They learned that lesson trying to make that movie in 1990, right. which right. is like, it's weird Japanese bullshit that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like quite possibly the the most difficult thing to adapt. Yeah, into that movie a was a disaster. Yeah, of course it is because it's like, what do you like? Hey, we oh this game's really popular. I guess we need a movie. So they go to a screenwriter and they're like, all right, he's an Italian plumber and there's a mushroom kingdom and the bad guy is a turtle and there's a princess. Uh huh. It's like uh, none, of this make sh- some wild, none of this shit fits together. They did make some wild stylistic it's, choices, though, I will say. Yeah. Like they the, just, black, the big black lady they, well, who they flies. Were, <laughs> did they have one of those? Yeah, remember there's that big <laughs> black lady with the boots that fly or whatever? No, I don't remember. I don't remember. She doms Mario. Nice. That's hot. I haven't seen that movie in forever. <clears throat> Did they yeah. make a second one? No. 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 You got your boy Bobby Haas. Bob Hoskins. Gio- Giovanni L- L- Turgilio. Rubisi? R- uh, no. Um, John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo. <laughs> Giovanni L- <Torzio>. <laughs> <laughs> That That's that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then, no. <laughs> that's literally who I was thinking, too. And then the bad guy is uh, Easy Rider. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Dennis Hopper. And he's just like in, he just has like spiky hair. He's, that's him being Bowser. But you also get the sense that it's like, I mean, it's. it's Literally make it like Seth Rogen and James Franco on mushrooms. It, well, it's like no one in the movie even knows what video games are. Right, right, right. You know? Right. So it's like, how could they, how could you give a shit about that project going in if it's like something that makes zero sense to you? Yeah. You know? Yeah, you should just make it like two fat stoners get trapped in the game or something. That's yeah. how you do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's adapt it. We could probably get the rights to Mario, right? But, I mean, the Sonic thing, even like Jim Carrey, it's like... That, it's again the same thing as Dick Cheney. At least Christian Bale put on the weight. Yeah. Jim Carrey, one of the few fat icons that we have in what video games. fat icons? No, he's oh, taking Dr. Robotnik. Dr. Robotnik from us. Yeah. A fat bald man. Mm-hmm. Was well, Jim Carrey been in a funny movie in the last twenty years? Uh, the number twenty three, number thirteen, yeah. bitch, or thirteen? No, it's the number twenty three. It was twenty three. Fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. You thought you got him, huh? I did. No, number twenty three is where he's a white guy that starts convincing himself he's Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. He's he goes like, to I Rucker. am allowed to say it. <laughs> Look, there's all the signs are here. He's writing yeah. the N word. He goes up to Harlem and starts <laughs> playing basketball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At Rucker Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, it is also the 23rd letter of the alphabet. Um, it's N. That's that checks out. That's not true. Well, it's one of, I mean, if you it's do. It's one your, of the letters. If you do, and if you read a key, if you read a keyboard, oh, okay. QWERTY alphabet in order, N is the 23rd letter. Interesting. 
That makes a lot of sense, mm-hmm. the way you put it. That. Yeah. <laughs> you want to put it that way? Mm-hmm. Um, Dumb and Dumber, of course. How can Again, you forget? Again, that was 20, 25 years Is ago. Is that in the last 25 no, dumb years? Dumb and Dumber. Uh, was he in that? He was in some kind of weird sequel, wasn't he? Didn't they do they a fucked up sequel? They did a prequel sequel? with two guys that looked like that. <clears throat> yeah. Then they did but Dumb they and Dumber. They did do a sequel, and it was I don't think anyone saw it. I don't know if it was horrible, but I assume it was. Was Jim in it? They were both <laughs> in it, dude. You don't remember this? And Jeff Daniels. I remember the first one. I no, think, I think remember? I kind of remember this. Yeah. It was fucked up, because it was just like kind of just a shitty movie. It was like a C plus probably. I don't know. I didn't see it. <clears throat> My dick was too large. Yeah. <clears throat> But, um, you know, I don't know. It's just like, you know, I guess he's in that. Yeah, he'll probably actually be good in it. I honestly. actually rewatched The Mask the other day. Oh, yeah? Was he good? Yeah, it's a, okay. Cameron Diaz is hot. Very mi- Miami. Good. Yeah. Very ar- a lot art of people, deco. Um, we're, we're, we were trying to keep it on the down low, but I had sex with him. I was having sex with Cameron With Diaz. Cameron Diaz? Yeah, we were having. During that's the pretty sick. The movie? We were having sex with each other for a while in real life. Oh, isn't she married to one of the guys from... Um, Good Charlotte? I don't know. It didn't come up very often while we were having sex. Are you sure you weren't having sex with the guy from Good Charlotte wearing a blonde wig? No, I would meet up with her in public and we would have sex against the Madden brothers in a parking lot somewhere. We'd meet at the Whole Foods in Silver Lake and have sex in the parking lot. Are you sure? Did she have any tattoos? Um, I mean, just that the one all over her entire body. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. She knows. That that checks out. That's why she's so dark now. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she looked, but she looked a lot like her. Though. Yeah, I like the idea of a, of a, just a black crackhead tricking people and be like, "No, I'm Cameron Diaz." <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like tricking people into having sex just because she's Cameron Diaz <laughs> for the story. Yeah, I guess. No, it's a full body tattoo. <laughs> Who do you think that would work on? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I can't say. <laughs> I can't be sure. <laughs> oh, he's a little runaway. He's a little gay ass faggot. <clears throat> that is a great piano thing, though, on Runaway. Yeah. He gets me jazzed the fuck up. Yeah, we'll pay yeah. Go. Ready to get head from a bitch with crimped hair and a porta potty? Who's ready to get head? Me. <sighs> Let's go get head. Let's go. I'm gay. So, Adam, what's new with you? Uh, nothing much. What's uh, new? How did you do? Been getting getting into my uh, letterbox account. What is okay? Reviews. So, what is that shit? It's you literally webs- just you just write a. It's a website where Adam finds other people discussing things, and then he goes, "Oh yeah, I've seen that." Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to do that so a little to, bit. You get to. Yeah. Um, you get to. Nick's let people gonna know. join it too. Does it cost money? No, it's like a social media platform. Oh. Also, you should know we we discussed it while you were gone. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should know. Uh, you we said that you had Hank Hill ass and wow. it, and what it was yeah, accepted. Yeah, behind your back. No, in public. There's well, no we way. said it in public behind his back. Well, I can't well we said it in public. Well, we're now telling it to we the. We said it in public where he did not have him. access to defend himself. Yeah, he didn't. He and without say. your ability to defend yourself, there was mutual consensus across the board among all of our colleagues that you do in fact have Hank Hill no. ass. No. Absolutely not. Which colleagues? See, this is why we can't have received? this is why we can't have this conversation with you no, here. No, we can't. I'm listening. Because Adam's gonna <clears throat> change the subject. I won't change the subject. We'll keep it on on subject. Now look, is my ass as beautiful and juicy as it once was? No. No. But there are the building blocks there for a big juicy ass in a way that Hank Hill never had. He never had any curvature. Okay? Now, is my ass as good as it should be? No. Have I put on a little too much weight in my love handle area a little that bit. obscures how round my ass is normally? Well, your ass isn't getting as fat but as it should be. In if I were Hank Hill's size, uh huh. Okay. How big is Hank Hill? Like six two? Let's say he's six six. Yeah, six uh, foot. He's the character is like something like six eight or six no, nine. No, no, six eight not. or six nine. He's yeah. A, no. On the show, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. He's like six. Let's say six two. No, Hank Hill is supposed to be like six eight, six nine. He is absolutely not. Dale's to be Dale's right. like six five. <laughs> Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Man. Bobby's, no, Bobby's this is six the, foot. Yeah, no, that's the premise <laughs> of the show. Oh, oh, it's a really tall hill. <laughs> yeah. uh, Everyone in the show is tall. Because they they got to get up on the hill. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, that's Let's why it's called Hill. I was six eight, like Hank Hill. <laughs> My, and I wasn't as fat. If I was like, you know, if he mm. was your body weight distributed yeah. over a six foot Cotton's, eight frame. Cotton's the only character that's a normal height. <laughs> yeah, God. Cotton's five eleven. <laughs> yeah. What no I'm saying shoes. is. H- Hank, in my size, his ass would disappear completely. Uh-huh. Me at Hank's size, I would have a round, juicy little butt. It wouldn't be the biggest, juiciest ass because I don't have the blow. If my haunches are beautiful now. Mm. In my youth, I was playing soccer. I was playing football. I was wrestling. I was constantly active. Okay. Yes. I so had you had more bed- sculpted I had, legs. I had sculpted, fatter butt cheeks. Mm. However, that is not without... That is not outside of the realm of possibility for me, I would say. And I would say factoring for fa- how fat I am, mm-hmm. I do not exactly have Hank Hill ass, just a mildly disappointing ass. But In comparison to how impressive the rest of you how is. How impressive the rest of my <laughs> physique is. Yeah. I, was watching, <laughs> I was watching network television the other day and I saw I did this funny commercial for some prescription medication for people with ulcerative colitis, which is like uh, you shit your pants all the time. Uh-huh. And the commercial is like slow tracking shots of people like running to a bathroom, but then they'll like <laughs> turn around and catch a football and then like throw it back. Oh, that's bathroom. funny. Or like running to the bathroom, but they're just what going the to the concession stand me? at the movie theater. <laughs> and it's like, there's no way to not make this look funny. Of course. Is it stop, like, don't even involve the bathroom at all. I'm no sure the way. people with ulcerative colitis are like, oh, he has to shit. I do that because right. of my disease. Oh, he doesn't. Wow. It's an effective ad. Yeah. It like, sounds like they're communicating running. what they want to say. Why you got to show them running for the fucking bathroom? Yeah, I know, man. Come on. I'm just Come saying on, that's man. just that's I'm just saying up, that shit's dumb, dude. That shit's fucked up. What are you, Mr. Mr. Commercial over what here? What if you see a guy running? Yeah, Will you see him and you think he's running to, to the bathroom you and then to, you and then the trying to buddy cam- up to the commercial? All right, and then the camera swings around and he's running from a mass shooter actually. Oh, so shit. he doesn't have ulcerative colitis. He's just in a mass uh, shooting situation. Mm. That's interesting. That's interesting. Fuck, my bank thinks I committed... I, someone's trying to steal my account because I tried to pay my rent. Damn, that's tight. I got to call them. Fuck. Yeah. They're like, uh, oh, there's another charge here for $40,000 worth of chocolates. <laughs> 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 um, no. <laughs> Somebody... <laughs> Yeah. No, that's not you, me. You should literally do that. You should go onto the Lint website right now and order forty thousand dollars <laughs> worth of chocolate, <laughs> and then label that as fraud. <laughs> I mean, fuck it. If you already got the fraud alert, if if you got caught, it would be hilarious. Mm-hmm. I would be down forty k yeah. for chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you could resell that. Well, what you know? a, that what a classic bit. <laughs> it would be an awesome bit. Uh, no, that's not me in the bank. I'm going to argue with a fat guy. Uh, well, it uh, seems proof. like... <laughs> yeah, it seems like... Proof. What about me seems <laughs> like it... <laughs> you should show up to Say chase, it to my face. Go to the chase Probably. location with chocolate all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. This is from a Nestle's Crunch bar <laughs> no. that I purchased. I have ulcerative colitis. <laughs> <laughs> this is I shit. I just shit into my own mouth. <laughs> It's or shit shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're being very insensitive. <laughs> you might have a lawsuit on your hands here, pal. <laughs> what makes you think I would order forty thousand dollars? What about me? <laughs> says forty thousand dollars. Says the down payment on a home in Baltimore <laughs> on chocolates. <laughs> I'm going to their website now <laughs> to see if you could even rack up that much. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you could, man. I'm sure they got some kind of like gift basket or something. Okay, hold on. Creation masterpieces. Yes. <laughs> wow, this sounds good to me. <laughs> I love the idea of a creation masterpiece. <laughs> the, the praline biotine. Praline biotine? No, no, fuck. They just do buy a store. They don't. Our chocolate. <laughs> uh, what makes you think? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what about me? Says <laughs> three years tuition at a state school <laughs> spent on chocolates, <laughs> spent on truffles. <laughs> just. just just an obscene amount of fun. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know why that's making me laugh so hard. but There's another form of, of uh, fraud where 
if you want to go to a strip club, take out a bunch of money, mm. and then say it was fraud. Gilbert Arenas says you should do that. Does he? Did he do He's that? He's talked about that on his Instagram account <laughs> about him committing committing fraud. credit card fraud. <laughs> Just openly admitting it. <laughs> openly admitting, like stealing thousands of dollars from his bank. That's pretty sick. Yeah, We're good for him. He rules. That money's rules. going to the. I'm honestly, fun, I'm excited to watch women. the big three. The summer basketball summer league. Summer basketball league with retired players and players who play in like the Drew League and shit. I didn't watch last year. I watched a very little amount, but they got a lot of good guys going. Greg Oden's going to play this year. Can he play? I don't know. He might. Where Alan Iverson said he was going to play last year, but. He pretty much just was gambling and missed all his games. And drunk. Which is pretty cool. Respect. <coughs> um, yeah, so watch out for that. The big three. It's coming <laughs> to a city out, by you. Watch out for the big three. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. Fuck, man. I got to eat soft foods. What should I have? A giant Hershey's kiss. No, it's that's hard. Uh, soft food, a mozzarella I'm ball, get a melt mozzarella, in. a ball of mozzarella, oh, mozzarella. No, some buffalo mozzarella. Maybe yogurt. Y- a yogurt. What are some good soups? Uh, a bisque. Bisque is nice. A nice bisque. No, oh, bisque is nice, dude. Just go to Peach's Hot House and get the chowder. Perhaps. I love chowder. No, you don't. Chowder. I love you're, a good you're, copy, you're copying all the guys in Boston. <laughs> well, I'm copying all the guys in Boston. <laughs> hey, I'm Bruce Springsteen, and I love copying. <laughs> <laughs> I love to copy guys from Boston. I'm in a fisherman's boat, and I'm getting fucked. In I'm the in ass. a domestic relationship with a fisherman, <laughs> <laughs> and we live on his boat, and I pretend to be his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. Gay Bruce. Uh, <laughs> Bruce is a, a, a gay-ass name also. Yeah. Bruce? Yeah, it's kind of like a 70s gay porn star name. Mm-hmm. Respect. What are some other famous Bruce's? Bruce Jenner. R.I.P. R.I.P. He was Look killed by t- a woman. He was <laughs> like, what murdered they did by, to by Caitlin. Boy. <laughs> Look at this. The giant Hershey's kiss on the nutrition facts. They have the audacity to say six servings per container. Hilarious. It, no, it's one giant one Hershey. One giant. I'm eating the entire How thing. much is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry, everyone. Allow me to save the rest of my <laughs> giant Hershey's kiss. Like well, some you kind might of break s- it off to some like, friends. Like some kind of psychopath. <laughs> Instead of eating the entire Hershey's Kiss for lunch. You'll probably give a piece to a friend or two. Mm-hmm. If I was in prison, I would have somebody mail me one of these and become the coolest guy <laughs> in prison. <laughs> Everyone would want to hang out with that me. That probably right? would be kind of cool if you were in prison. Yeah. Man, that guy's got a giant Hershey's Kiss. How much um, calories does a giant Hershey's Kiss? That guy's got a Game Boy and a giant Hershey's Kiss. You just get shivved, well, shivved on the yard for your well, heart, Hershey's kiss. No, you right get shivved now. on the yard. I would never get shivved. You would get shivved immediately. No way. Not me. People be like, you copying. We heard you copying earlier. I heard that you're not allowed to copy in prison. Oh, yeah. They hate copiers. They hate yeah. copycats. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first one to say I like Big Willie style. <laughs> what are you in for? Uh, copying. Yeah. Copying. Oh, we don't take kindly to copycats around here. $40,000 worth of chocolate. <laughs> yeah, uh, let me see. Because what's the maximum quantity you can order on? See, we 20 Kit Kats. Wait, on, what, what website are you on? Hershey's? On Target. Oh, Target. None of the other places allow you to buy the candy directly. What? Uh, continue shopping. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah. Well, um. Having well, gay I'm sex. having gay fucking sex, <laughs> and I can't wait to have gay sex. And I'm <laughs> trying to not to bust too early, but I'm but I so excited so about having gay sex. <laughs> and now I'm about to come. And yeah, okay. So we're up to four hundred and ninety-one dollars worth of chocolate. Off what? Off the uh, in your cart right now. Ninety-nine. Uh, boxes of crunch fun size creamy milk chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds kind of good. Yeah, 20 Kit Kats. 
Uh, Why just 20? Can you get more? No, that's the maximum amount. Kit Kat minis. Let's see what the maximum here is. <laughs> so just to be clear, what you're doing is just trying to see if you can get... You're on Target. Yeah, I'm, I'll do that. Dot that'll, com. that'll be my project for later today. <laughs> you can put that on the Patreon. <laughs> it was save... Yeah, put, put together a... Uh, we should. I'll, I'll put together a shopping cart that's forty thousand dollars for the chocolates and send it to you, and you can charge your card. And then I will not be doing that. Dispute it. I will absolutely not be doing <laughs> that. Sir, you had it delivered to your house. <laughs> uh, excuse me. What makes you think? Excuse me. I'm what sorry. A, what about me? <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> get offended and assume anything about you. Just a, a fat guy <laughs> trying to order. <laughs> it's, I mean, to try with 40000 would be, because it's such a gamble. Because it's like, if it doesn't work, you are out forty grand. you are still going to eat the chocolates. But it would be awesome. Can you eat the whole thing? thing? No, I mean, if, if... No way. Like, if you're not actually out to $40,000... If it did, if it didn't work, you would just return the chocolates. I don't know if you could return their perishable. No, you just say like, no, my dumbass kid fucking ordered this shit and use my card and return it. I mean, Target's not gonna hold you to be like, I'm sorry, sir, a deal's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking cancel the order before they ship it. Wouldn't they just do that? Wouldn't yeah. that be what fraud is? I don't know. Ocean's obese. Mm-hmm. Ocean's o. Oceans, oceans, uh, uh, fuck. 11 inches thick. Of what? Of uh, thick. Of penis. Um. <laughs> oceans. Ah, oh, fuck. That's, uh, that's so funny. To me. That is good stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's not my purchase. That's yeah. actually not mine. <laughs> no, no, that is not mine. <laughs> no, I, I certainly don't remember. I, uh, I don't recall that purchase. No. We'll go <laughs> no, I cannot FaceTime you right now. <laughs> that doesn't sound like an official. Just uh, walking, just b- barging into the bank in a suit that barely fits, covered just <laughs> <piss> <laughs> all, all over the time. <laughs> I'm sorry. This, this is threatening to submarine my business. Uh, this I'm a is, businessman. I'm a businessman, and I, I do not recall man, <laughs> making any my business account <laughs> making any of these purchases here. So I'm gonna. What I'm gonna need actually is just the forty thousand up top, up in cash, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Instead of, could you? <laughs> I will be needing that. Mm. This is insane. Remember how the last time I said that McDonald's was gonna do uh, body yeah, yeah. positive commercials? Yeah. Burger King's already doing fucking like mental health. Not everybody wakes up happy. Whoa! What? Sometimes you feel sad, scared, crappy. Burger King? Fuck. All I ask is that you let me feel my way. Yeah. What the fuck? It's just, it's is okay. It to, it's okay to feel your way. It's a black man experiencing mental health Depression. issues. And he's poor, so he has to eat at Burger King. So, That's the bigger issue. Yeah. Uh, hey, make your food better. Hey, we make shitty food for poor people. We're killing poor people, but it's okay if they're depressed. <laughs> and people are going to be like, this is great. Yep. It's great that they're doing this. They definitely will. Yeah. Well, I'm having gay sex. That's insane. Anyways, back to the fat the guy. Uh, ex- I don't know. These are not mine. These are not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what would yeah. you say <laughs> about me specifically? <laughs> Says I would spend. Uh, excuse me. I would like to chocolate to your manager. I would I talk sp- to them. I'd, I'd like to... Yes. Uh, no, I don't know where they do not pe- truffle a uh, trifle with me <laughs> <laughs> about this sort of thing. Uh, oh, a pen. Uh, you're just patting your pockets and <laughs> peanut butter is being squished out of the. <laughs> 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 Let me see where my pen is to sign the paper. No, I don't. Let me inside pocket. Percy <laughs> <laughs> Shear syrup. <laughs> totally just bleeding through. Mm, interesting. <laughs> It looks like a pen burst in my pocket. Uh, yes, it's some kind of writing instrument. Is 
become undone in my pocket here. <laughs> <laughs> my bu- my fucking book bag opens. It's just full of fondue, <laughs> chocolate fondue fountain <laughs> falls out. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting at the b- branch manager's desk, just tapping, just getting chocolate on everything. <laughs> 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 he just answers his business card. You're like, hmm. There's just a smear, <laughs> <laughs> just visible chocolate smear marks all, all over the car. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna need this return. This made good. Yes, well, your <laughs> mistake. <laughs> the mistake that your bank made. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I need that money returned to me with interest, please. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then they honor it, and then immediately you spend two hundred dollars on chocolates. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that one was me. <laughs> That's my regular chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, yeah. Maybe. That Maybe. does it. That does it for me. Maybe someday yeah. if I'm braver, I'll attempt that. <laughs> <laughs> if you're braver. If I have the guts. <laughs> yeah, uh, you don't have the guts. I don't stop. have the guts. You yellow <laughs> belly. To, to, steal, <laughs> to attempt to steal $40,000 of chocolates <laughs> from my bank somehow, <laughs> indirectly. Uh, no, I, I, I don't. I don't. This is incorrect. <laughs> this I'm not, actually, I'm on a diet. Yeah, this is <laughs> not. This <laughs> item here is not. Uh, <laughs> that seems incorrect to me. <laughs> okay, well, tell me this: Would a man who's currently doing a free trial of Weight Watchers online <laughs> order forty thousand dollars of mean, chocolates? It's simply absurd if you think about it. <laughs> we're not even. It's not even. We're still two hundred and twelve days away from Halloween in twelve hours. <laughs> <laughs> We're still 212 hours a day, 15 hours and 27 minutes away from Halloween. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. I can't wait. Now I'm going to do it, actually. You should, dude. It would be the funniest thing you've ever done. Once I can bite again, I will order that much. <laughs> um, No, this is not, that's not no. my purchase. I recently had oral surgery. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, a bi- I'm actually a business owner. I'm actually a bit. What kind of business owner would do such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a home and business owner. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, I got to take a shit. I got to go to therapy. All right, everyone. See ya. Goodbye.